fine reefer and I'm going to show you one of our traditional menu things that we make for Christmas. Ravioli in brodo. Rita makes the filling. This is a mixture of pink veal and chicken breast. She gently sautés the meat in butter and garlic. Then she adds a glass of white wine. Rita then strains the meat and uses the juices to moisten some breadcrumbs. She blitzes the meat before adding the parmigiana cheese and parsley. This is chopped parsley and of course we have to have nutmeg. My mother-in-law insisted nutmeg because it enhances the flavour of the cheese. My mother-in-law will be proud of me. <laughs> <laughs> the mixture should be cooled before making the ravioli. We can make the dough. To make the dough, she uses one egg for every 100 grams of zero zero flour. All the children always enjoy making the grandchildren, great-grandchildren, they all come in the kitchen to do it. It's part of Christmas actually. She kneads it until it is smooth as a baby's bottom. It's coming. Good. Almost like a baby's bottom. She lets it rest for at least 15 minutes in the fridge. Rita rolls the dough out to the thinnest setting. Rita uses a ravioli tray as it makes it easier to count them. She lines it with cling film to make tipping out the pasta easier. Rita dots small amounts of the filling. Christmas wouldn't be right without ravioli. And dots water or egg white as this helps the pasta to stick. She covers the filling with another strip of dough and rolls it until she can see the ravioli edges. Make sure you can see the teeth. They need to dry out a little before cooking. Then take that. Now we let that dry actually, or freeze them. Good quality stock is most important. The broth is so important, really, yeah. for ravioli. Yeah. You know, it's as important as them, really. Rita uses the chicken from which she's taken the breast for the filling. I always put a turnip in mine because mm. it gives a lovely flavour. But the three <laughs> basics of Italian cooking is carrots, celery and onion and garlic. She adds plenty of vegetables and parmigiano rinds. Nothing goes to waste. She simmers this for several hours. So Rita has already made some. As they, these will come to the surface and they'll be cooked because they're very fresh. Rita simmers the ravioli in the strained stock and serves them with more Parmigiano cheese. There we are. Ravioli in Barada. E buon appetito. And Merry Christmas to you. Happy Christmas from Pasta Grannies.